Hello. I'm Roman Oshiminski, the School Shepherd at the Priory Catholic Voluntary Academy in Eastwood, and I'd like to welcome you to Top Tip on Thursday. In primary schools especially, this summer term is named after the Feast of Pentecost. At the primary school, our series of Key Stage Collective Worship have been focused on the theme of Pentecost, and in particular, on the gifts of the Holy Spirit. If we open ourselves up to these gifts, they become wonderful blessings of guidance, strength and comfort in our lives. So my top tip would be to open yourselves up to the gifts of the Holy Spirit. The gift we as a school have been focused on this week is courage. And we would like to share our collective worship with you today. I don't want to. I'm scared. Honestly, there's nothing to be scared about. It will do you good, I promise. It's all new to me. I've never tried it before. I don't think I'm ready for it. Have a bit of courage. Why don't you take a little bit at a time? How do you know it'll be good for me? Look, I've been there and it's not done me any harm. In fact, I loved it. But it's... Broccoli! Well, I don't know about you, but I've noticed quite a few people are what I call fussy eaters. They won't try anything new or even eat food that is good for them. It's a bit like that in a lot of situations in life where there is change and things are new. As a primary school child, I was very confident and I got involved in nearly everything. I attended Ukrainian school on a Saturday and my teachers asked me to recite and perform a well-known Ukrainian poem, which had to be on stage in front of the local community. I knew the poem by heart, but wasn't prepared for public speaking, especially in front of 400 people. So there I was, very nervous. I got on stage and started reciting the poem. My face turned red. I could feel it burning. My voice got higher. My legs started shaking and I just bellowed out as fast as I could. I ran off the stage in tears with the image of my mum and dad in the front row, desperately wanting to hug and console me. Since then, I've always had a great fear of speaking out in front of people. It has never left me. My whole professional career has involved speaking in front of people. What helps me is the strength and courage I get from praying to God before I speak in front of people. He fills me with his spirit of love and fortitude and I become more confident. And I do that daily. And especially before I go in front of people to speak. So, let's hear what courage means to you and how you feel courage helps you in life situations. This is what some of the pupils from the party thought about courage and what it meant to them and how it helps them. Courage is about being brave for a bit more. 
some of the cards is brave and they never give up. Courage is when you're determined and you're brave to do something. Just like Rosa Parks when she went on a bus and the bus was at buses were split in half so a white side and a black side and she was like well why do they sit on this on that side and we don't get to because the black side was full so she took her seat on the white side and didn't give it up so that was being that was her being determined and brave the thing i'm scared about going to secondary school is that when um like if i don't get my homework done on time like i do it um but maybe not getting my homework on time or um, not making any friends or getting bullied but the most thing I'm worried about is that if any of my friends are going to get bullied or if they're not going to get any friends or meet any new friends. It gives me courage when I'm surrounded by people I know and if I'm prepared for As Christians, we, we like to pray to Jesus to give us courage and I like to go talk to my mum and like my little siblings just to talk about to give me courage and stuff and just tell them my worries and then yeah they just it just makes me feel a lot better when I tell the truth and, and